Now we will discuss the working process of fitting and fabrication shop. This is the dimension of workpiece. The workpiece is made up of mild steel. The length, width and thickness of the of workpiece is 75 mm, 45 mm and 5 mm respectively. A workpiece is given which is full of rust and unparalleled edges. We have to perform different processes on it. The workpiece is made up of mild steel. Filing process. Firstly, we have to fix the workpiece on table firmly. With the help of file, we will furnish it or level its surfaces. It has two types. Cross filing draw filing. Cross filing done when we use the file vertically and slowly. This removes more material but not good finishing and therefore takes less time. Whenever we are removing rust, we use this filing. The workpiece is tightly clamped in the voice with the surface to be filled, is kept horizontal. File is held in the position of workpiece. The hand of file is kept in the right hand, and left is on the other end pressing it downward and forward through its full length. Draw filing is done when we use the horizontally to attain perfect level of smoothness. It is a time-taking process, but gives smooth surface that's why whenever we find our workpiece to be unleveled, we use this type of filing. It is used to remove marks and scratches left over the workpiece by cross filing and used smooth and flat surface on the workpiece. The process works by moving any type of single cut file forwards and backwards along the length of the material's edge. Marking process. It is a process to mark those areas of workpiece where we have to do some work. It is not as simple as it seems because we were dealing with metal and we had to mark on it without damaging it. Here we took advantage of scrubber and paint. While making the workpiece, we paint one face of the workpiece with yellow color and let dry for 5 to 10 minutes under the drying fan onto the surface plate. For marking first of all we have to paint the workpiece and then using scrubber, we mark a line of 20 mm at left bottom of workpiece at 8 mm from horizontal lower edge. Similarly, make another line of 20 mm at 8 mm from the first line. Now. Make two points one at the upper left and one at the upper right of 20 mm from each edge. Punching process. Once the marking has done, highlight the points by using center punch and hammer. To accomplish this task, place the center punch on the point one by one and punched by hammer. We do this because the yellow color will be removed after some time. Drilling process. Drilling is a cutting process that uses a drill bit to cut a hole of circular cross section in solid materials. The drill bit is usually a rotary cutting tool, often multi-point. The bit is pressed against the workpiece and rotated at rates from hundreds to thousands of revolutions per minute. This forces the cutting edge against the workpiece, cutting off chips from the hole as it is drilled. Now, drill a hole of 31 out of 64 inches diameter at upper right point and another hole of 5 stroke 16 inches diameter at upper left point by using the drill machine. Sawing process. Sawing is a process wherein a narrow slit is cut into the workpiece by a tool consisting of a series of narrowly spaced teeth, called a saw blade. First marks are punched so that cut might not be curved or deviated from original line. Sawing is used to separate work parts into two or more pieces, or to cut off an unwanted section of a part. These processes are often called cut-off operations, and since many manufacturing projects require cut-off operations at some point in the production sequence, sawing is an important manufacturing process. It is used to cut the iron. Tapping process. As we make two holes of different diameter, in left hole, smaller diameter, we make the internal threads by tapping. As there are three taps, one, two, three in workshop. First of all, we use tap one, taper tap, by using oil. Then we use tap two, bug tap, and three, bottoming tap, in similar manners. Oil is used for lubrication. It is because when two metals rubbed against each other, they causes frictional effects, and hence causing wear and tear. Reaming process. On other hole, left hole on the right, we do the reaming by using a reamer and oil. The purpose of reaming is to make the hole internally smooth and furnished. Dying process. Dying and tapping are the relevant procedures. We can say where we use tapping there is also need of dying. Dying process is actually used to make the external threads. While making the workpiece, we were asked to make a bolt of same diameter and length 30 millimeters, as it fits within the smaller hole. With the help of the dying, 
we can easily make a bolt or a nut by using the external threading. It is a process which is used to form or cut a male thread on the outside of rods or bars. Take a meter rod, fix it in bench wise and give it a cone shape so that it should be fit in the dying tool. By using hand hacks or mark a line at 30 millimeters and another at 25 millimeters from cone shape of metal rod. Using the die tool start external threading on the rod up to the 25 mm length of the rod, and also don't forget oiling in this process. By using hacks or cut the rod at the mark of 30 mm, and make a cut of 2 mm on it, then tight your nut which is formed by a dying process into your workpiece, at where you create internal threading. This is our final workpiece. Comments. No light should be passed when we check level or angle by using tri-square. Hacksaw must be used with great care. Don't use oiling when you are dealing with hacksaw. Not oil your tool at the beginning of reaming or dyeing process other they didn't work properly.